then you get 20, 10 and uh, and now saith the Lord that have formed me from the womb to be his servant to bring Jacob again to him though Israel be not gathered yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord and my power shall be my strength and he said it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant. It is what? It is a light, light thing to that, be that thou shalt be my, my servant. servant. It's a light thing that we're out here, bro. To raise up the tribes of Jacob. So that's what we're, to we're here to raise up the tribes of Jacob. And to restore the preserve of Israel. So we're here to, res to restore Israelites to come back to the fold. I will also give thee for a light to be to the Gentiles. So brother, you're a Gentile state of mind. All right, but we were good. You said you nah, saw nah, us. Nah, scratch that. Not Gentile state of mind. It's majesty state of mind. I got, see, I make music, right? So I put certain things in my music talking about things like this. I've, I've spoken about certain things. Also, you know, in a way, yeah, you know, like the Gentiles, yeah, you know what I mean? You're talking about your own selves as well and whatnot. But if you got to scratch that. The words... The words is the real music. These words. This is the real song. This is the real so, song. Oh, oh, hear this. Same time, right? Who's a Gentile state of mind, bro? Right? You had your bald head, no fringes, you got a tie around your neck. That tie represents the ominous, bro. That represents the penis, you know what I mean, bro? Now, I would never walk around with a penis on my neck. Alright? You're lucky, alright? You were smoking. Alright, you was doing certain things, that's for real. Like the cigarettes. Yeah, so what it is. Beans, jelly beans. Like like we said, we are we are we, we don't say we don't sin, right? We know we sin, but your mind was still not in the ways of the scriptures, you know? Where we need to take you out of that Gentile state of mind. Do that again. I've had my faith, you know. What I'm saying? I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Exactly. Thus, saith the, thus saith the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and his Holy One, to him whom man despiseth, to him whom the nation abhorreth, to a servant of rulers, kings shall see and arise, princes also shall worship because of the Lord that is faithful and the Holy One of Israel, and he shall choose thee. And he's true, and that's what, that's what we're here to try and be elected, to try and be choked, like to get our, to make our election sure, bro. All right? Uh, we have to be a light for the people. And what is a light? The commandments is a light and a lamp. All right, we're going to Proverbs chapter 6. All right? This is the book of John, chapter 10 and verse 27. My sheep hear my voice. And I know them, and they follow me. So yeah, ah. the sheep hear the voice. So for the first of it all, you saw the light. You saw us over here. You said these are the men that are crying out loud. Like, oh, take that out. Take this out, man. Yeah, you don't need no tithing. You don't need no tithing. You heard the words. Yeah. You yeah. know, the know, the know the tithe also represents the 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 tag on you as well. That's a that's a Hebrew custom. So it shows you how they can be under under manners and under bullshit. So when you see people that wear a tie, you see they're already structured in their work. And then you see people that don't have a tie on, they're very move freely in their work. I just know it looks like you know why it's got a, a diamond yeah, shape yeah. at the bottom. But it looks like the obelisk. Yeah. Right? Can, we like on, can we touch on? Can we touch on um jewelry like? Wearing oh, earrings, we wear studs and stuff right. like that. That's okay, right? Yeah. Yeah, Matthews. Yeah, Matthews. Yeah, wearing jewelry and earrings. Matthews. Well, even for the men, right? Yeah, even for the men. Even for the men. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the book of Matthews, chapter twenty-two, and verse nine. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye find, bid them to the marriage. Bid to that we said you are married. Onto the heavenly father, bro. You're an Israelite, bro. These daughters, these daughters of Zion, they're married to the heavenly father, bro. But they want to walk around like Gentile minds, bro. That's true. Yeah, because they don't want what's the, they don't, they, their position right now is that they're above the men. You reckon they want to go down underneath the men again? Ah. 
they like it here in captivity, man. Right? They like it in this in this in this docile state of mind, right? Because they've been given uh, what? They've been given the benefits. They can have a child, they get a house. Yeah, they don't have to work anymore. They get child benefits, all sorts of damn uh, money coming in. Yeah, and credit. All right. Man. We don't get nothing except nagging. All right. Damn back breaking. Mm -hmm. The last ones to be hired, mm -hmm. first ones to be fired. Mm -hmm. Job seekers allowances, mm -hmm. damn um, child. And I'm not saying we're not meant to pay on um, the, the, for, the, for the children. Yeah. But I'm just trying to explain. It's it's a hard life we're living. Man. I want to. We can't live our best life in captivity. I want to I wanna, I wanna give a big shout out and blessings to my children, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? My son, uh -huh. Majesty, my daughter, Destiny, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Daddy loves you, trust me. Sean. Alright, let's get a cleansing of the word, man. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 6 and verse 23. For the commandment is a lamp. So this is what is the lamp. You seeing us out here doing this is a lamp. And and the law is light. So when you say, oh yes, I've got light in me. I'm, the, I'm, a, I'm a light shining to my children. You're not a light shining to your children unless you're telling them the law, statutes and the commandments. Absolutely. All right? You're not a lamp unto nobody unless you tell the brothers how to stay out of sin. All right? That is the best way to be a light and a lamp. This is the book of First John, chapter 2. Okay, more on that one. This is the book of First John, chapter 2. And verse, um, verse 9, he that is in the light hateth, um, Salakio, he that is in the light and hateth his brother is in darkness until, even until now. He that loveth his brothers abideth in the light and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. So when you do with your brother in love, there's no stumbling. Alright, you're moving together with the righteousness and the most high, right? But yeah, you asked some questions, all right? What is, where do we find um, earrings and gold? And, all right, so get um, Ezekiel 30, uh, 13. All right, give me a... Uh, the one thing, thing I remember reading has something to do with along the lines of it's okay to have a good jewelry to shine or whatnot. Yeah, However, yeah. some people be saying, well, you can't wear Exodus you can't wear a stud because you're a man and and you know it's not wow. of God. So now, what am I really supposed to? You know what I mean? What am I supposed to really think or no? Kind of thing. So I, if you guys can really bless me with words, yeah. bless everyone that's watching. Right, Exodus. Yeah, Exodus 32 and 2. It's weird because some people this up a couple weeks ago. So yeah, the people watching and watch us regularly, they already know this one, bro. But if they don't, anyone that's watching for now, um, they need to be, edu be educating. It's the word of the Father, Exodus 16, uh, Ezekiel 16 and 10. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 32, verse 2. And Aaron said unto them, Break off the golden earrings, which are in the ears of your wives, of your sons. Of your what? Of your of sons. Your so it's in the men, I know it was in the women, and the, the daughters and the and sons. And of your daughters, and bring them unto me. So they had earrings, bro. All right, yeah. that is in Exodus, bro. That's in, Mo in Aaron and Moses coming out of Egypt. All right, let's read this, bro. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter sixteen and verse ten. I clothe thee also with um, uh, um bur bird, with braided works, and stood and stood thee with badges, um, is that badges, yeah? yeah, with badges skin, with badges skin, Salakia, and. I bring thee about with fine linen. I go thee about with fine linen and cover thee with silk and deck thee also with ornaments and put bra bracelets upon thy hand. And what? And put, and bracelets, put bracelets upon thy hand, hand and a chain on thy neck. And a what? And, and a, a chain, chain on thy neck. neck. And I put jewelry on thy forehead and oh. earrings in the ear in thine ears. And a beautiful crown upon thy head. God. Thou was decked, um, thou was thou decked with gold and silver, and raiment was of fine linen and silk, and broad and broad works. Thou 
has um, eaten of fine flour and honey and oil. Yeah. So yeah, we had um, honey, we had honey crackers and butter. All right, that's what I like to eat a lot still. But spiritually, when I found that out, I was amazed. I was like, that's in the Bible that we never get honey crackers and butter. Yeah. And I grew up on it as a child, man. My mum would tell me that. What about chocolate spread on crack? No, nah, no, nah, we never had that, bro. Nah. That's not in the Just Bible. honey, right? <laughs> For real, for real. Yeah, yeah, I like chocolate spread with crackers. I'm going to have to start changing that to honey and crack. It could be a habit, man, Joe. Nah, yeah, no, nah, it's cool, man. <laughs> Most yeah. I said that, yeah. This is the book of Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 10. Thy cheeks are comely with rows of jewels. So they had even had um, gold teeth, man. Ah. They had gold teeth still. Oh, oh yeah. Ah. I had four gold teeth, yeah. but gold it's like a month. Well, that's all right. It's the Song of Solomon, man. They had gold teeth. Thy neck with chains of gold. They are what? Thy neck, neck with, with chains of gold. They had gold teeth with chains, bro. <laughs> like, this is Can't. biblical, like. <laughs> And in our, in our old, uh, the, the camp we was in before, the guy was cursing out someone for having gold teeth. Like, I was like, yeah, I saw that for you. Just going over the guy, man, remember? Ah. Mm. He's cursing out the guy for having the gold teeth. But yeah, anyway, we're allowed to have gold teeth, bro. If you want gold teeth, get them. I can't really, wear, we're, we're in poverty, mm. but we're rich in spirit. Ah, so spirit. I'm not got enough, I ain't got enough money to be spending gold teeth right now like so I don't know where you got all that money from to buy gold teeth yeah. but yeah if you want to buy gold teeth buy them man nah, I'm done I mean, with that I've got family to support and things to do yeah, with yeah I mean trust I can't hardly afford oh yeah, gold teeth. Yeah, but you will be the future yes be yeah you know I mean, I've got two legs man of course I've blessed us with the legs yeah, so yeah, absolutely yeah let's get that in um Timothy, innit? Timothy, first Timothy chapter 6. No, they wear dresses, man. You're not allowed to do that, man. First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 7. This is the book of First Timothy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Verse 6. Chapter 6. Sorry, chapter 6 and verse 7. For we brought nothing into this world. And it is certain we can carry nothing out. Exactly. And having food and raven, let us be therewith content. So I'm happy and I'm content with food and raven. Alright? And, and a roof over my head, man. Yeah. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and they snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts. Exactly. Which drown men in destruction and perdition. Right. For the love of money is the root of all evil. So anyone that loves the riches and riches of this world, right. we call it to evil, man. Which while some covet coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Exactly. So, bro, you can have earrings. You can have chains, you can have gold teeth, you know what I mean? But you don't want to be loving this world and all of these riches and looking tingling and looking so just keep zealous, innit? Keep with the Father. Yeah. What other, yeah, any other, any other little things that's on your mind? Mm. Not, not at the moment, not at the moment. I had one, but I just, just Yeah? But well, right now, like you were saying, innit? Repenting, in it? All right, acknowledging our transgressions, man. Uh, Give me that in Psalms. That's what we love yeah, to talk yeah. about, really, in this body that we're in, man. We yeah, love to talk man. about how we can show more and more forgiveness. Ask the most high for more forgiveness, man. All right. Because, because me personally, last year, you know what I'm saying? I was going through a lot, but you know what I did? I went out in nature. I did my water fast. And I prayed well, when you in fast, nature. When you fast, brother, we're not allowed to drink or eat or even swallow our saliva, bro. All right, fasting, and you don't, you don't, you don't boast the fasting. You don't you keep that to you and the heavenly Father. All right, so you keep saying, oh, I done my fast, I done my fast. The heavenly Father will just take away anything you just fasting. All right, I think that's what we're gonna have to touch on. 
we're going to scratch that out then. No, we're not scratching that out. We're going to give you understanding things because maybe you was lacking a little understanding with Boston. Alright? So let's get Matthew 17 and 21. Get um, idea. Get idea. This is the book of Matthew, okay. chapter 17, and verse 21. Howbeit, this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. So, yeah, that is how, alright, the Mosai has told us to do. And a lot of people have taken this verse out of the Bible. Alright, that the NIVs, yeah, the NLTs, you only find this verse in a King James. And that's really, there's a reason for that. Alright? Because praying, praying and fasting is powerful. Alright? It's very powerful. Um, yeah, so get me that um, 58 and 3. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 3. Right. Wherefore have we fasted, say, um, say they, and thou seest not. Wherefore have we afflicted our souls, and thou taken no knowledge. Behold, in the day of your fa uh, your fast, you found pleasure, and ex and exact all your labor. Behold, ye fast and extract all your labors. And extract all your labors. Behold, ye fast for strife and debate. Exactly. Some people are fasting for the wrong reasons, man. All right. Fasting for carnal reasons. Okay. To smite with the fist of wickedness. Um, ye shall not fast as ye do that this day to make your voice be heard on high. Go on. It is such a fast that I ha have chosen you. Question mark. Uh, Salakia. Is it such a fast I have chosen you? A day for a man to afflict his soul? It is, how, it is to bow down his head as a, as a um, bulrush and to spread sackcloth and ash upon him. Question mark. What thou call this a fast and an acceptable day to, the, to Yahweh? It is it's not this the fast that I have chosen? Question mark. To lose the bound of wickedness and undo the heavy burden and let not the oppressed go, fit, go free? And that ye break every yoke? Question mark. It is not to deal that they um, they bread to to hunger to the hunger, and that thou bring the poor that are cut and that are cast out of thy house or to thy house. Then shall see the naked that thou shalt cover cover him, and that thou had not thyself from thine own flesh. Okay. The Messiah said it himself as well. All the commandments he's kept, all right? Now give up your possessions to the rich man, the young, the rich man, the young man that says he's kept all the commandments since he was born. Give up your possessions. There was even um, in Acts 5, there was, there was a couple that said that they've given up all of the goods but they hid some, you understand? And that couple got put to death in front of Peter, all right? For lying and saying they gave up all their possessions, all right? Fasting is in a way of, of being, it's, being, it's a way that you just chastise yourself for, for, for a blessing, really, all right? So that the most I can take away transgressions and, and push you stronger. But fasting isn't so you can boast and say I'm fasting and tell everyone about it. It's not, that's not the right spirit of fasting. That's, that's wrong of me to even say Please that. And I should humble myself for that. For real. Go this is the book of Sirach, chapter 34, and verse 25. He that washeth himself after touching of a dead body, if you touch it again, what availeth his washing? So is it with a man that fasteth for his sins, and goeth again, and doeth the same. Who will hear his prayer, or what doth his humbling profit him? Exactly. That's the same thing I understand. Yeah? 
Fathers have got presets for you, yeah? Bring out your presets first, and then I'll bring up my ones. Yeah? I'll bring up my ones. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 6 and verse 16. Moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites of a self countenance, that, um, for they dis disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Exactly. Verily I say unto they you. They make themselves look all hungry, like, oh, I need to fast. Like, I mean, I'm just. Do what, you're, you're right, bro. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm just fasting. I'm just fasting. Like, go Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. They're gonna have their rewards for being boastful about fasting. Yeah. But thou, when thou fastest, anoint your on thine head so, and so wash your means, face. That means put oil on your face. Make sure you look like you're alive and you're cooking. Like you ain't told anyone you're fasting, but only between you and the Heavenly Father, He knows why you're fasting. If you want to get certain points across. But thou appear not unto men to fast. But unto thy, thy father which is in heaven and which is in secret. This is in secret. And thy fathers which see him, the secret shall reward thee openly. Alright, because that's what he said, because you cannot get anywhere without praying and fasting. We read that in the Matthew 17 and 21. Alright? You get you get evil spirits off of you by praying and fasting. Alright? You can you can start to cleanse the sick and heal the poor with praying and fasting. Alright? We have a day called atoning, when we atone for sins, so we have to fast and pray for the whole day, for 24 hours. All right. This is a book of Esther, chapter 6, verse 4. Esther, chapter 6, verse 4. Go gather together all the Jews that are present in Shushan, and fast ye for me, and neither eat nor drink three days night or and day basically so when you fast you're not meant to even drink so there is no such thing as a water fast yeah all crazy things yeah. 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 nothing yeah. so you can brush your teeth dry fast yeah. 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 nothing to touch no drinking no 24 eating. hours yeah. 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 well that one was, that one was three days that was yeah. the day yeah. of that was, the, that was yeah. around the perimeter yeah yeah, yeah. For real. yeah. For real. that one was three days but there's you can fast for as long as you can but don't try and fast for food days and 40 nights. Leave that to the Messiah. The like, Messiah's been there and done that. Like, like, Look, suppose someone tried to fast because I think it's 29 days and he died. I don't remember the specific number but the man that's trying to fast. There's one there's one guy they like to say that has never eaten. That some Indian guy has never eaten. Have you heard about that? Hey, look, it's some stupidness going on. Some illusions and witchcraft in there. Look, bro, I'm not going to tell you that you can fast for as many days as you want to do. Spiritually, do it as long as you can. But I would, I me mean myself, it's hard for me to fast for a certain amount of days like that. But most I know, when you do fast, you do it and you get a good. Give me um, Psalms 33, 35, 17. Psalms 109 and 24. Psalms 35 and 13. Psalms 109 and 24. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 35 and verse 13. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer returned into my own bosom. So you see that? That is when your prayers get answered. Okay. Go on, bro. This is the book of Psalms, 109 verse 24. My knees are weak through fasting, and my flesh faileth through, through fatness. Yeah. I became also a reproach unto them. When they looked, when they looked upon me, they shook their heads. Exactly, so that is what's gonna happen when you're fasting and you're going through turmoils, you're gonna end up you know what I mean? You're going through it because you have to chastise yourself. You have to put yourself through certain turmoils, and that is how the Most High gets to hear your prayers. Give me um, uh, did you get a uh, uh, Sirach 34 or the 25? Yeah, 34. Alright, go. Keep reading. Keep reading. No, no, no. I think that was the last one. Yeah, no. If you keep reading, yeah. 26 goes into 35. So that's 34, right? Yeah, 25. 34, 25, and 26. Oh, you must have read that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Alright, go to 
This is the book of Sirach, chapter 35 and verse 17. Read the up. prayer of the humble pierceth the clouds. So look, this is the part. When you are humble and you're fasting, okay? And you're fasting and then you're praying with that fast, yeah? It pierces the clouds. It's like it's in the fast lane. It's like just a normal prayer. It's in the slow lane at the moment. But when you fast with it, it's like you want it to directly go to the Messiah and to the Heavenly Father, like, whoom! Quickly, you get me? Express. Expressly. And until it come night, he will not be comforted and will not depart till the Most High shall be whole to judge righteously and execute judgment. Exactly. For the Lord will not be slack, neither will the mighty be patient toward them till he have smitten in sunder the loins. Yeah, that's it on that still. Yeah? Yeah. But yeah, the most I, the, the whole point of it is that when you're praying and fasting, your prayers, they get a, they get a first class stamp. They get express delivery with the praying and the fasting along with it. You know what I mean? So, like you said, you don't be boastful about it. You just keep it humble, you keep it patient. And then, prayers will be delivered. He doesn't hear the prayers of sinners as well. Like you said, when we confess our sins, all right, then he starts to hear the sins. Hears the, 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 the prayers of sinners. Because we're the sinners, isn't it? So we hear, when we confess our sins, he hears our prayers and he would answer them. And what we pray for, it's, it's like spiritual, isn't it? Like, oh, Father, you know what I mean? It is spiritual. Yeah. Pray that I can get to see my children and not get them through things. Pray that situations I'm going through. You don't want to pray for a new Maserati. You don't want to be praying for a new gold chain. You don't want to be praying for that. You want to pray for, yo, where can I find some like minded brothers so I can learn the scriptures better? And do. So when you start to keep the most eyes away, he starts to give you delivery on the book. Give me the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse, let's, let's read verse 1. When you keep his commandments, let's see what, let's, let's read the, the, let's read the blessings this, of them that keep the commandments. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of Yahweh thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments. So when you listen to the scriptures and you stay around like-minded brothers, you love your brother, all right? shall command thee this day that Yahweh thy power shall set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. I'm going to put you on high, all right, above all nations. Give me some of And all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee. If thou hearken unto the voice of Yahweh. blessings are going to overtake Imagine being overtaken with blessings, like overwhelming joys of blessings, bro. Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall thou be in the city, man. That, that job you needed, all right, the little things you wanted to go through, you're going to start to receive the blessings, man. All right? Blessed shall thou shall be the fruits of thy, thy body, and the fruits of thy ground, and the fruits of thy cattle, and the fruit, um, 